So the Community Planning Partnership, we're very proud in Midlothian of the partnership. We've got very strong partnership relationships with the police, fire, NHS, all of the educational institutions that are on the board, SDS and of course council departments and the council departments are in the board include adult health and social care also includes everything linked to education and children's services for getting it right for every child and we couldn't forget obviously sustainable growth and our carbon neutral by 2030 pledge so actually ensuring that both the environment and our communities flourishing is really important to all of us in Middle East. The Community Empowerment Act in 2015 asks all of us to work together in partnership. That's a legislative duty, of course, that we have as a council. So the council plays a significant role in bringing our partners together. We also, before COVID, used to be the physical place that people would come and meet. And obviously, throughout the COVID period, we've been meeting using virtual means. We've also put in place um, managers for that role as well and work really, really closely with the community planning development worker as well, who assist us in all of the work that the board actually does. So in terms of community planning, I think we were really blessed when we knew the days before we were heading into a lockdown situation with COVID. We got everybody around the table really, really quickly and we managed to ensure that each and every one of us would play our role in the event that there may be a, a Prime Minister's announcement that we would move into lockdown. Really blessed that week before that situation that we were able to sit down. We were really clear about everybody's role, including the absolutely essential role that our communities would play and also our voluntary sector partners. And the other thing we also managed to do was to really quickly set up the hubs for our children and young people. Really wanted to make sure that all of the key workers didn't have to worry about that, but they were having to frontline respond to the pandemic. So one of the small things that we could do across our whole area was to provide that essential childcare for all of our key workers and another thing we managed to do is always always ensure that we put early intervention and prevention at the heart of all of our decision making and that's something that I think I'm most proud of in terms of working together with all of our community planning partners. I think our response to Covid stands us in good stead for strengthening our partnership working moving forward and I really hope that we can work together in order to not just attend to the climate change um, agenda that lies ahead of us but also the cost of living crisis. It's my responsibility to bring together all the partners um, and give them a space to plan with communities in the third sector about the improvements they want to make with communities in Midlothian and that creates a single Midlothian plan. We do that through um, data, so we have a profile, the Midlothian profile that I'm responsible for producing with um, my partners and the thematic leads for community planning and that data drives what we think the priority should be for Midlothian. We work with communities to check them out and then we create this shared action plan um, to make change happen with communities to improve outcomes. Specifically focusing on reducing poverty and making living conditions better um, in the community. We're the umbrella body for all the charities, community groups and social enterprises in Midlothian. One of our roles is to represent the interests of the third sector in community planning. And my colleagues and I sit on a wide range of community planning forums. I also chair the Community Planning Working Group, which reports to the Community Planning Board. I think it improves the lives of Midlothian communities by bringing together a wide variety of bodies and individuals, and that's community groups, individuals in a community, the council, third sector and government agencies, all who are operating within communities, but it helps. Community planning improves the lives in Midlothian as it establishes a framework for joint working um, and team working um, across service areas. Community planning in Midlothian focuses on understanding what matters to local people and then to change those things so that they can improve the lives of people working and living in Midlothian. Yep. I think what community planning does is bring us all together. Um, we all sit um, in very different areas and I think what's useful is coming together on, on those areas um, with different skill sets, different knowledge around different areas. Um, and in doing that, what we can do is hopefully can improve the lives of um, individuals in the community. Um, community planning is really important in terms of the work that Midlothian does. Um, community planning pulls together partners from not just across council, but across different services like police, 
and our health services, but also businesses um, and our community sectors as well. Community planning helps communities by ensuring that all the statutory and third sector organisations work together and that our activities complement rather than duplicate each other. Our work is most obvious in times of crisis, for example, when we had the beast from the east, or of course COVID. During COVID, the Community Planning Board met weekly and we were able to feed in concerns from the third sector and also able to put forward ways that we can help. However, all year round, there's a huge amount of work that goes into planning the delivery of services, be that with older people, digital activity, or a key theme at the moment, supporting our Ukrainian guests. We're very heavily reliant on data um, within the community planning uh, working group. And with that data, what we can do is um, can do use that and to, to really look at what services are required within Midlovian. Um, so not just for ourselves in, um, in justice services, and, but also in the wider sense of community safety. Um, rather than us making decisions for communities based on what we believe should happen, it's very much about capturing their views um, through consultation, uh, transferring that data, um, and really trying to make change um, on what people have asked for um, and actually how they feel um, and how we can achieve safety within the community for, for people. Partnership is so important to the work that the council does. There's no way that we'd be able to um, deliver everything that we do in Midlothian without our partners. So it's really important that we do that work together um, to avoid duplication, but also to make sure that we're working towards the same goals and in the same way to make life better for people in Midlothian and to reduce inequalities. Housing Services has commissioned a change work service which provides a warm and well service to tenants in Midlothian who are at risk of fuel poverty. The project is aligned to the Council's local housing strategy and links in well with community planning partners, health professionals and other organisations working in the Midlothian community areas. It's helped us in a number of ways but one recent example which I think is a really good example is where we helped to deliver a, a tiny forest or, so, or, or sometimes called a wee forest at Bonnie Rig Primary School. Um, that was planting of um, almost 600 trees it, in, the, in the primary school ground. And we were able to, to work with the school and work with Nature Scott and a number of bo other bodies to help deliver that, although it wasn't ourselves that were actually planting the trees, we were help to help to get that delivered. But we were also through working with the group and Scottish Government and the, the Council's Education Service, we've been able to try and increase the amount of biodiversity education on, on the primary school curriculum. The UK Government announced its plans for replacing the former European funds with a new funding stream called the UK Shared Prosperity Fund. But Lothian Council was given a very tight timescale to deliver an investment plan of what it would like to see the money spent on in Midlothian. Due to the very strong community planning relationships in Midlothian, the Council was able to draw on a wide range of knowledge in its local employability partnership, with lots of organisations putting time into helping the Council consult with potential applicants and service users and contributing into the content of the plan.